college basketball number 16, Arizona State from Rockin' Allen Fieldhouse in Lawrence, Kansas. A big matchup for you on this Sunday afternoon from Fog Allen. Along with the Hall of Famer, Bill Walton, Roxy Bernstein with the Arizona State off to their best start since the mid-70s. And for Kansas, they're 43-1, Bill. Coming back after a loss here at Allen Fieldhouse, they've won 37 in a row. And Bill, this is your first time at Fog Allen Fieldhouse. Wow. This is college basketball. An incredible stay right from the moment I got off the airplane. And it's just been incredible. The band is here. The fans, they've been lining up for days. They've got bleachers. They don't have seats. They don't have suites. I'm not sure they're going to need any of that stuff. But mostly what we have here is basketball players. We've got legendary coaches, the Hall of Fame, Bill Self. We've got Trey Holder, who leads the Conference of Champions in scoring. This is a big time player. He's a senior. Arizona State is undefeated, and Kansas is not. Who would have ever thought? Wow, college basketball. Devontae Graham, a spectacular player, an understudy a year ago. Now it's his turn, his challenge. This is a spectacular scene and setting. And the Jayhawks, the mythical bird, they are on their way, soaring through a glorious, sunny, and wind-free day here in the middle. Let's take a look at our starting lineups brought to you by Dr. Scholes. As it's Kansas on the board first. How appropriate, Dr. Scholes and me. <laughs> you saying we should have a doctor with us? That was Kareem's nickname for me. Here is Shannon Evans missing a three in the rebound, cleared by Mazabuki for the Jayhawks. Three guards for Bobby Hurley. Bobby Hurley, who beat Kansas in 91 in the NCAA championship. The lob to Doka Mazabuki, and it's 4 0 Kansas. That's what, this is what's called an explosive start. You think they were motivated after the loss to Washington earlier this week, just down the road in Kansas City? Who would have ever thought? The Jayhawks could not make a basket. They played an uninspired game in front of their home away from home, a place where they lost a year ago in the tournament to Oregon. Oregon on their way to the Final Four. You know those Elite Eight games? Any game you lose is, a, is, is just a nightmare, but whoa. <laughs> and he got the roll. Five zip Jayhawks. But when you lose those, those games, you understand and realize that you never get them back. Often you're too young to know that during the game. Somebody is going to have to get a good offensive game going. Trey Holder fouled by Devontae Graham will head to the line for the Sun Devils. So, Bill Self, as you alluded to, the Hall of the newly minted Hall of Famer. In the class with Tracy McGrady, Rebecca Lobo. And he just became a grandfather for the first time. First time. He's got two children, he and his wife Cindy. Cindy is his college sweetheart from Oklahoma State. Bill Self went to college in the early to mid-80s in the years that were dominated in college basketball. He was a good player for the Cowboys, but in those years, I mean, it was Patrick Ewing, Akeem Olajuwon, and Ralph Sampson just dominating everything. North Carolina with Michael Jordan got one of the championships. Indiana with Al Wood, Isaiah Thomas got a championship. Over the top. The lob and the finish by LeGerald Vick, and it's 7-2 Jayhawks. Perfect start here for Kansas. You cannot play any better. This crowd so appreciative. These students sleeping out for days in advance. They have a lottery system. You know, I tried to get a good seat by signing up. I believe I was number 45 in line. I tried to get a good seat too somewhere else, but I couldn't find one, so I'm stuck with you. Great defense by the Jayhawks. Who can create offense for Bobby Hurley? Speed, nice drop back pass. Malik Newman a three. And an early timeout for Bobby Hurley and Arizona State who are just trying to survive the onslaught from Kansas. One of the things you have to do is get an early control flow of the game. And Nothing right has happened for Arizona State. It is all Kansas. Threes are raining on a sunny day.
with the brilliant Frank Mason and the electric Josh Jackson, everything changed. Kansas this season, seventh in the country in scoring. Field goals, they shoot a magnificent percentage. Scoring margin first. That is a near record pace. Might even be the record if it holds up over the course of the season. And right now, Bobby Hurley and his Sun Devils are in a world of trouble. It's as if their world is freezing over. Fade away from Cody Justice and the rebound Malik Newman in Kansas. The level of physical fitness and development for this Jayhawk squad. Give tons of credit to Andrea Hootie, their strength and conditioning coach, who's been here for quite a while now, 14 years. Five for five, Kansas from the floor and a couple of threes, and they're up 11. The motivational tools by Bill Self after the debacle in Kansas City against the Huskies where the Huskies were barking. Bill Self has been calling for a dog. Now, I tend to love dogs. How is that not a dribbling violation by Shannon Evans? Trey Holder left it short, claimed by Vic in Kansas. Udoka's ability to shut down the middle out there. Rattles out for Graham, and the rebound tip free and taken back by LeGerald Vic for the Jayhawks. Udoka's just going to be in there to stuff it back in, grab some rebounds, block some shots. They just want to spread this floor and use speed, skill, strength of all their perimeter guys, particularly this guy, speed. Collected by Cody Justice, stays with Kansas and 13 to shoot. Spee's lost 25 to 30 pounds from last year. There is Bobby Hurley and his squad off to a rough start, the all-time assist leader in the history of college basketball. And he's looking for some teamwork right now. Have you had a chance to see that ESPN E60 movie? I did see it. Wow. But Gerald Vick makes it 15 to KU. What Jeremy Schaap did in producing that movie. Absolutely spectacular. Just out now for 18 months, readily available on ESPN. Vitaly Scheibel from deep in the first field goal for Arizona State. It's a three. Splash Mountain here. Somebody's got to spread the floor a little bit to take the wind out of the sails of this Jayhawk squad, which right now is playing with so much confidence. And Bill Self looking for that serious approach, the, the sense of self-motivation. The floater by Newman and the rebound claimed by Romello White in ASU. The Sun Devils will want to remove that defensive scene from their film session. Trey Holder gets the bounce off the heel of the rim. Trey Holder, who has already been named two-time Pac-12 Conference of Champions Player of the Week early on in this season. But the footwork of this Jayhawk squad, this is one of the four current supreme powers in college basketball, with Kentucky, Duke, and North Carolina being the others. Akai Luke missing the corner three, and here come the Sun Devils. And the near challengers, Michigan State, Villanova, and Arizona, trying to get up into that more consistent level. Romello White inside for Arizona State. Just a freshman, Romello White, in the Atlanta, Georgia area, 6'8". Big, strong guy, skill game is coming. But mostly what Arizona State needs is a leader on the court right now to get a game going to create some sort of offense. An offensive foul, Yudoka. It's on Azubuki. Hot start, though, Bill, for the Kansas Jayhawks. Arizona State trying to climb back, but Kansas came out roaring. But the fact that Arizona State's within five points is just incredible because Kansas has played perfect from the opening tip. Arizona State just waking up themselves. We've got a game in the middle, Kansas. And then the restaurant downstairs, absolutely ecstatic. But when I got off the plane, took the drive across the prairie here and crossed the Missouri River, oh my gosh, I stopped, I said a prayer, and as I turned back into the sunshine, there was the prism of light. And through that prism of light, I saw Lewis and Clark. I saw the journey up the Missouri 200, a bunch of years ago. I saw Wilt Chamberlain, I saw Fog Allen, I saw James Naismith, I saw Roy Williams, Larry Brown, so many, John McClendon, all the 20 Hall of Famers, the most of any school in the history of college basketball. And the block in saving it for Arizona State is Jaquan Lake, JC transfer for the Sun Devils. 
Remy Martin in a freshman off the bench for ASU and making his Sun Devils debut is Mickey Mitchell, a transfer from Ohio State who hasn't played a basketball game in over 630 days a prior to today. But a nice skilled left-handed player, got a beautiful shoe combination out there. <laughs> Let it fly, Mickey. And the jump hook short from Daquan Lake and it's cleared by Kansas. The Sun Devils have survived this initial onslaught. Kyle looked to miss, and then Mitch Lightfoot can't get the rebound, and here comes ASU. Remy Martin with the ball right there. Oh. Missing the pull-up way off in transition, claimed by Malik Newman. Maybe an ill-advised shot, but Bobby Hurley has given his players complete freedom to create in the offensive end. The steal and bucket for Remy Martin, Just and that's 10 straight for Arizona State. Just a freshman, and I was intrigued by his name, Remy Martin. I mean, I'm just, and I wouldn't ask him about the genesis of it. His mom's dad, so his grandfather, was named Remy. And his dad, his last name is Martin, so. Newman and three answers for Kansas to end the 10-0 run. Kansas has already shown over decades, over 120 years that they're a phenomenal basketball team. Arizona State's trying to get their beautiful drive, Trey Holder. Holder already was seven for the Devils. Uh, Trey Holder, senior, grew up during a glory years period of basketball in Los Angeles. He's an only child. When he was growing up, over an 11-year period, his favorite team, the Lakers, they won five championships in those 11 years. That's NBA championships. So that was Shaq and Kobe and Pau Gasol and Rick Fox and Robert Ory and just Derek Fisher, just tons of legends there. So he, you know, he knows what he's doing out there. He just has got to be able to get to the point where he can last by Vic and Graham and all these incredible athletes on the perimeter that Bill Self has. Shot clock at 10. Trey Holder, <laughs> deep three. Got it! And Arizona State has survived that early onslaught. And they've cut it down to one. Bobby Hurley, his fearless personality. Bobby Hurley, his whole life has been told he's never gonna, he's never gonna make it. His dad's in the Basketball Hall of Fame as a legendary high school coach. Beautiful shot. The answer from LeGerald Vick for Kansas, who has seven to lead the Jayhawks. Yourself does not have a lot of depth up front. He doesn't have a lot of depth, period, right now. He's got enough. Right. Holder getting inside and swatted out of bounds. This is a team, Kansas, that already has enough players to win the championship this year. When they get Sam Cunliffe back next week, when, if they get Billy Preston, if they get Silvio D'Souza back. But right now, it's the Trey Holder Show in Lawrence. Hey there. Looks like someone scored some holiday deals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but did you check eBay? Yeah. Wait. Here's the season. Holiday Hoops It's back. A great matchup for you next Sunday afternoon on ESPN. Roy Williams at number 11, North Carolina. Travel to Knoxville to take on Rick Barnes at number 24, Tennessee. 3 Eastern, noon Pacific on ESPN and the ESPN app. Well, Trey Holder has helped this comeback. Bill Kansas jumped out to a 15 two lead since it's 15-3 ASU. Cody Justice way off on the three. The track down by Remy Martin for the Devils. Quickness to the ball. Remy Martin, first time I've seen him play. He's spectacular. Out of bounds, last touch by Kansas. You know who he reminds me of? Who, Remy Bill? Martin? Yeah. He's an all-hair team here. Well, you remember Jorge Gutierrez? Who I'm played not, at Cal? He was no. the Pac-12 Player of the Year a few enough. years ago. I'm not old enough. You're not old enough. No. That's who he reminds me. Really? Fade away in the key, off from Romello White, and it's a whistle against Arizona State. One of the coolest things about my trip here has been that we spend a lot of time in gyms. This time in this gym, the band does all the music, all the free games. You like that? I like that. I love live music. I love bands. And they've got a great band here. We had a great band at Friday night in Staples Center with the USC Marching Band, the only double platinum winning record band 
It was ball yeah. run down by Marcus Garrett. That was a good win for Oklahoma against USC at Staples Center Friday night. Trey Young, what a performance he put on. Malik Newman attacks the basket. Malik Newman, Bill Self said that by the time he's done here, he'll be an all Big 12 guard. And Bill Self would know since they're going for their 14th straight conference championship, which would beat the record. Shannon Evans lines up a three. Bobby Hurd is going to play these guys the whole game. He, he does not substitute at all. He had a game last year which I was privileged to call. He made one substitute the entire game. The guy played one minute. That's a block on Trey Holder. His first three against Arizona State. Arizona State's right there. They're not giving up the super easy baskets, but they drive the penetration, the ability to get to the basket area. Not a lot of shot blockers for the Sun Devils. Tremendous ball movement, though, on the offensive end. This is a team, the Sun Devils, they're going to have to outscore you. This is not a defensive score. Kyle who rattles out in the key and the rebound, Romello White. The key for the Sun Devils is can they rebound? Can they get it done? This is only Bobby Hurley's third year, so. Whoa. The runner by Holder, tipped out of bounds by Kansas. It belongs to Arizona State. These are two teams, Bill, that love to get up and down the floor and score the ball. As Arizona State averages over 91 points per game, and Kansas, even with putting up just 65 against the Huskies, still averaging 88 and a half a game. Rinse off for Romello White. And a travel against LeGerald Vick in a Kansas turnover. Did you make it over to the McCarthy Hall while you were here? I did, this you morning. Did. This morning you were there. As the Jayhawks had a walkthrough, I went over there. I, I, was, I was hoping to get there. It was, on the, it was on the other side of town for me. What happened? It was on the other side of town I for me, too. I was at practice yesterday. Fair point. But McCarthy Hall is where all the players live. It's With other terrific. students as well. Beautiful runner there. Vic the rebound. Here comes KU. Marcus Garrett fires from deep. And the rebound tipped to Shannon Evans. Speed is flying above the players to get that ball. Cody Justice air balls a three. And the crowd letting him know it. Three senior guards for Bobby Hurley. The recruiting classes that he's got lined up. Everybody's starting to realize that Arizona State's the place to be. Fifth largest city in the country. Michael Crow is your president. Ray Anderson here in attendance today. The athletic director. Magnificent new facilities. Monte Graham now with eight. And keep in mind, Graham only had three against Washington in Kansas City on Wednesday night. Is Trey Holder missing a three? And Speed McKay looked the rebound, poked out of bounds by Cody Justice. Any Kansas Bill Self ball. team is going to be incredibly disciplined. They're going to be focused in on fundamentals and what these guys can do, whether it's Graham, whether it's Vic, whether it's Speed, whether it's Marcus Garrett or Newman. They're going to be able to shut you down defensively, and you're going to have to be able to really create some offense. Great rebound, Trey Holder. Justice for three. And the rebound secured by Mitch Lightfoot in Kansas. Cody Justice has got to get going offensively, and that's his game. He's a spot-up shooter. He's a career 42% three-point shooter. This is a different stage. Look, they get to play at Arizona down Last in Tucson, by ASU. which has a great crowd, a great atmosphere. Right now, though, nobody is hot enough for Arizona to be extremely competitive against these Jayhawks. This December, you can give the gift. North America and the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Doug Kazarian with a studio update. Fourth ranked Villanova facing LaSalle, trailed by a point at the break. Phil Booth, corner three. Nova has won 20 straight Big Five games. They lead by one possession game back in the fog. 
All right, Doug, so Villanova, one of the seven remaining unbeatens with Arizona State. Duke was unbeaten until yesterday, losing at Boston College. But Arizona State, Bill, they're off to their best start since 1974-75 when they began the year at 9-0. With and, Lionel Holland. And a point guard that you know very well. Lionel, who grew up in Las Vegas after being born here in Kansas. Oh, my God. The lob off the inbound to Azubuki. Lionel Holland's a champion on every level. Raised in Las Vegas, went to Dixie State College, the first black player in the history of that college out there in St. George, Utah. Have you been there? I have been to Dixie State, yes. I've been there too, believe it or not. Uh, St. George is absolutely spectacular. Cody Justice missing a three, and Devontae Graham clears for Kansas. So the difference in this game is that Kansas gets dunks on inbound passes, and Cody Justice and the rest of the Sun Devils, they just have to throw it up from 35 feet. Lionel Speaking of Hollis, Lionel Hollis. The left-hander. The number fifth or sixth player chosen in the draft. First first family member in the Hollis family ever went to college. And it's an incredible story of what he's been able to do and an NBA player for many years. Coach for a lot of different teams and just doing fantastic. Currently living with his wife Angie in Memphis. Mikhail Luke from the corner. Azabuki, the offensive rebound. Come on, Jay man, Hawk, you can't give up a, a long jumper on one side and the rebound on the other. And he gets wedged up there between the rim and the backboard. Arrow goes with Arizona State. Monday night football coming up, week 14 from Miami. Tom Brady and the 10 and 2 Patriots. They won eight in a row and 6-0 and on the road this year. Take on Jarvis Landry and the Miami Dolphins. Monday night countdown kicks off our coverage at 6 Eastern on ESPN. I love the fact that Ray Anderson and Dave Cohen, the athletic directors for ASU, they're just giving Bobby Hurley all the support he needs, but also they're scheduling fantastic games like this. Come on, Cody, you got to finish it off here. The drop-off to Romello White as Arizona State was just one for their last 11. And they're only down six, and Kansas is playing perfect. These Sun Devils will not get tired. Even though they're going to play virtually the entire game. Nice defense by Romello White. Well, Gerald Vick attacks the basket. If you penetrate against Arizona State, one pass is going to result in a dunk every single time. Arizona State does not have the, the physical talent at this point in Bobby Hurley's career. Beautiful Remy shot. Martin hits a three. So, Remy Martin, he, he plays on that incredible high school team in Los Angeles, Sierra Canyon, uh, with uh, backed by Jeff Feinberg. And uh, that's where Marvin Bagley played his last year. That's over the top again. The lob to Vic. Speed. Speed is a beautiful player. He threw that ball while the cut was still being made. That Speed teamwork, has, that's he has five assists already. And he's just a completely different physical player. He's always been a skilled player. Have you been to the Ukraine? I have not. Trey Holder, the floater. Have you been there, Trey Holder? No. Any plans for you? Not in the near future, no. My no. piano teacher is from Odessa. Dimitri. Odessa, Texas? Odessa, Ukraine. <laughs> a beautiful seaport. City on the Black Sea. Great defense finally, but oh. He don't got Zabuki to slam for the Jayhawks. And the Kansas foul. A seven point lead for the Jayhawks. On the set play from out in front. The ball is driven to the free throw line and then when the defense when three guys go to a ball handler but this is the play that ball is thrown immediately and no one making any sort of contact whatsoever with Vic and it'd be a good idea to keep him in front of you Mickey Mitchell off balance and the rebound tip to Mitch Lightfoot Lightfoot's doing a nice job out there. He's a native of, uh, well, he spent a lot of time growing up in Gilbert, Arizona. Was the Arizona yeah. Gatorade Player of the Year? Just on the east side of Phoenix, the fifth largest city in our union. Oh, 
Malik Newman from the top. Speed. He tips it free. Lewis controlled by Arizona State. Remy Martin attacks. And Martin lays it in. He has seven off the bench for ASU. The pursuit of the ball, the anticipation. If one player for Bobby Hurley could just get to the point where, yeah, I'm in control of this game. Graham. Gee, and Devontae Graham. Graham might be the guy for Kansas. He has 11 along with five assists, and he puts Kansas up eight. Graham's already had two games this year where he's had 35 points. Back-to-back -back games Graham had. But he had the stinker against the Huskies. Whoop, whoop. And a travel against Vitaly Scheibel in an ASU turnover. In and Actionville. Remy Martin doing it all. This guy's just a freshman, but he's been a big-time player in big-time programs. Thank you to Jeff Feinberg. And here's Remy coming right at you. The ability to finish and jump right into the defender. This is college basketball. This is Lawrence, Kansas. What is going on? It's just, it's just uh, Santa Claus, you know? Kansas came out strong so far. They did. Uh, the conditioning of their guards is going to be everything due to their lack of bigs. Kansas is going to need another front court player to show up if they're going to be a Final Four team. And Bill Walton, he could rock this sweater. Yes, he no could. No doubt about it. Not tie that, Bill, but close. We're working on it, Seth. And the rebound, Cody Justice. It's been a game of runs so far between number two Kansas and number 16 Arizona State. Kansas, the second winningest program in the history of college basketball behind Kentucky by about 20 games. Your last game was against Kansas. Yes, it was. The vaunted third place game, 1974. Oh, how we look forward to that. <laughs> well, I, I looked at the box score. You only played 20 minutes in the game. Which, I could see how much you wanted to play. Which would have been a career low if it was... And a push against Romello White of Arizona State. So there's a great tradition here as the foul, Sun Devils forced to foul Udoga. Great tradition here of the big young guys coming over from Africa to play here for Bill Self. Joel Embiid, Shek Diallo, Udoka here in the wings, Silvio D'Souza from Angola. The lean in by Graham, Romello White lost the ball, picked up by Remy Martin in Arizona State. Remy Martin has been the best guard on the court for Arizona State. Romello White missing the shot in transition. Beautiful defense, Shannon Evans in transition. Former football player, defensive back, came from Buffalo with Bobby Hurley. A three for Trey Holder. Bill Self has seen enough. Holder has 15 already in this game. He's coming off a season low seven points and Holder hobbling a bit after he made that three. Holder is tough as can be. John Anderson, the trainer for the Sun Devils. Quick hands there by Shannon Evans. And then his ability to push the ball at multiple defenders will free up guys at the three-point line and no hesitation whatsoever. While he grew up a Laker fan with the five championships in the 11 seasons, as the Lakers have went down over the years, he also had the privilege of studying and learning and watching Chris Paul play for the Clippers. And right now with Chris Paul and James Harden, the Arizona State alumni, what they're doing with the Houston Rockets, everywhere they play, the opposing coach after the game says, that's the best team in the NBA. The Houston Rockets right now. Now, we'll have to see at the end because LeBron's going to be there, the Celtics are going to be there, and Golden State, the reigning champions on one of the great runs in the history of basketball. Well, the last time Arizona State was ranked prior to this season was when James Harden was a Sun Devil, 2008 2009. And James Harden still spends his summer times there. LeGerald Vick again, he has 14 to lead Kansas. And one of the reasons that James Harden keeps going back to Arizona State is their strength and conditioning coach of 35 years, Rich Wenner, who I'm trying to confirm if he's related to Jan or not. <laughs> Shannon Evans a three. <laughs> Nobody's confirmed that or denied it, huh? I'm still researching, please. Had a few games lately. Beautiful penetration. Everything Speed does is just a joy to watch. He and 
Scheibel were on the Ukrainian national team together. Whoa, a traveling violation, please. And a walk call against Asabuki. The Kansas fans wanted a foul against Romello White. It's a Kansas turnover. Dial a violation, please. Here in the center, not only the culture of basketball, this is the state of Kansas as the geodetic center of the United States, of North America, actually, and then the geographic center. Geographic center is in Lebanon. The geodetic center is in Osborne. And the roll, it goes for Romello White. Spent much time in Kansas? Spent a little bit of time in Kansas. Have you been here before? I have been here before. Really? Yes, I've been to a place you haven't been for basketball. Really? Yeah. You know, John Wooden was here once. I heard the story. He helped build the football stadium, pouring concrete. Isn't that remarkable? In 1921. Uh, well, he was looking for something to do in his life. The Gerald Vick rattles out. Finally, a, a defensive ASU stop. Has it. Sun Devil, stick a fork in it, please. Three-quarter court from Shannon Evans off the mark, and Kansas came blistering out of the gates in this one, and Arizona State has come back, and we have a three-point game at the half where Kansas led by as many as 13 early. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that Arizona State would be undefeated and Kansas would not be? Who would have ever thought after watching the first moments of this game that Arizona State would be right back in it? The center, the hole, where they invented helium right here. Who can fly, who can soar? Bird, Sun Devils, let's Doug, go. Doug, cutoff bill wall, number 16, Arizona State. Three-point game as we get ready for the second 20 minutes, along with the Hall of Famer, Bill Walton, Roxy Bernstein with you. And Bill, it was an up and down first half. Just so much fun to watch these two teams go at it. What an atmosphere, how much fun. Sunday afternoon, it is Sunday, right? Last time I checked. Happy birthday. Incredible you. It's not my birthday. One day it is. But sure. this game has just been so inexplicable as to how it's played out. Kansas, one of the most legendary programs ever. They did. Trey Holder was very, very good after a slow start. Three-point shooting for the Sun Devils, superb. But this guy, LeGerald Vick, absolutely tremendous in so many different ways. Svee was magnificent. He stepped right in front of us to inbound the ball. Perimeter shooting was good. Kansas, such a legendary program. And yet they're only up by three points against the upstarts, the Sun Devils from the Valley of the Sun, the New American University. Wow. They've got a chance, and that's all you can ask for in life. If Cody Justice could make a shot, he has yet to connect at all. Rattles out for Malik Newman. If Romello White can get some more rebounds, if Dequan Lake coming in off the bench can get something done. Wow. Foul off the ball on Newman of Kansas. Look at this guy, Newman. Malik Newman, 6'3 sophomore, Jackson, Mississippi. Wow, what a body. But Kansas came in, they ambushed Arizona State, jumped on them from the get-go. That's not I'm, an ambush. When you're the favorite, it's not an ambush. But Arizona State didn't know what hit them. How did they get back in this game? They played a modicum of defense, and then Trey Holder, Shannon Evans got going, and then this little guy, Remy Martin, is just tremendous. This is the guy, Splash Mountain, who's got to get it going. Another miss for Cody Justice. He's 0-5 from three. Malik Newman, a good look. So he, he's just the rebound. He's 0 5 from three, and they're down three. Like, please make a shot, Cody. Just You're had it knocked away. Here comes KU on the counter. Your idol is Pete Maravich, who averaged 44 points a game for three straight years. Be at your best when your best is needed. Slow start, both teams, and that favors Arizona State. But I'm, I'm just staggered by their level of fitness and, and ability to just keep running. Yesterday, the day off with the travel on a long flight in from Los Angeles where they played Friday night down to the wire against St. John's, they were out sprinting, running, and everything. Nobody can make a shot right now. Please, start the third quarter. Let's get going. Second half. Third quarter is all the same. Devontae Graham knocks in a three. Four threes for Graham. Kansas led by as many as 13 in the first half. This program, KU, 
more All-Americans, more first-team All-Americans than any other program in history. Inside, Ramelo White with the left hand. Trey Holder, a lot better player this year than he's been in his career. What Bobby Hurley does in terms of breathing life, and the whole spirit, the whole atmosphere at ASU. Now, everybody can learn something about atmosphere by coming here. Whoa, traveling violation. Doka has a bookie with nine. From Nigeria, you been there? I have not been there. Have you? No. Any not, plans? Not on my list. But, you know, Nigeria is on course right now to become the third most populous country in the world. Mello White, the miss, and the rebound, Azubuki in Kansas. They're currently seventh, but with the population rate of explosion right there, oh, Graham darts to the basket. Graham. They're going to be number three in about 30 years. Nothing happening offensively for the Sun Devils here. Cody Justice finally splashed down. Please. First points of the day for Cody Justice. And every shot has looked good. And a foul on top on Trey Holder, his second. But you have to be able to come in and somehow quiet this crowd. This crowd is awesome. 264 consecutive sellouts. They had a, a game in, in the last couple of years of Roy Williams' career here that actually did not sell out. When you were a visiting player, did you love environments like this? Well, every game we had was like this. Well, you were the game that was circled on everybody's schedule. You were the target. Well, you won it. And a foul on Remy Martin before the shot from Graham, and it's the no, first no, on the freshman. One. Remy Martin. They've only first. had eight coaches in the history of this program. Five of them are in the Hall of Fame. Fog Allen, who this building is named after, who got his nickname because when he was a baseball referee in his early days, his voice was like a foghorn. Oh, oh. I thought he worked with you, and he was just in a fog all the time because he was hanging out with you. I was hoping that send it back, Romello. And the foul on Cody Justice. I was hoping, this is my first time here, I was hoping that they would have the fog. You know, you go to a rock concert, and, and the fog comes rolling off the stage. If you've been in San Francisco, and you see the fog coming in over the marine headdress. They don't have much fog here. Just they have be aware of the fog. Right. That's, that's, that's what it says up here. So you can read. Nice. I, <laughs> I did make it through. What they Dallas do have, they have wind here. Dodge City, the windiest city in America. But today, absolutely spectacular outside here. Well, when you're from San Diego, spectacular has different conditions. Spectacular is 80 degrees. Hey, man, one of my friends. It's in the low 50s, and it's crystal clear outside. 50s? Not the low 50s. Yes, here. it is. It's in the low 50s, but So one of my friends lost his nursery in the fires. California. Mellow White for Arizona State. Inbound violation. I have seen it all. Mark this date down in NCAA basketball history. They called that. Stepping over the line on the inbound pass. They're forcing the rules as they're laid out. Finally, they have the rules of basketball right here. I stopped by. Did you see him? I said my prayers. 13 original rules. What was the score of the first basketball game played 126 years ago this coming Saturday? What was the score of the game? You tell me. One nothing. Trey Holder from the corner yeah, to the three. And Arizona State is within one. Every time they look like they're just going to be pushed into the Kansas River, which runs right through downtown Lawrence. They just come right back with a spectacular play. Oh, the to So, if you're going to play against Udoka, you might want to think about staying behind him. And see if he can make a shot from outside the dunk. Everything is right at the rim for the Kansas Center. I love Kansas's fundamental defensive approach. Just guard somebody, keep them in front of you, and see what they've got. Remy Martin hits a three, and we're tied. Spectacular confidence level. Remy Martin, Shannon Evans, Trey Holder. LeGerald Vick answers for the Jayhawks. So when Ramello White and Daquan Lake 
And they learn how to be that defensive anchor behind these great guards. Watch out. And Shannon Evans for ASU. The Sun Devils, they are better than I thought. And there's a reason Whoa. why they're undefeated. Well, you can be just as the rebound. You can be undefeated by playing terrible teams. But they play good teams. Play Trey good. Holder long on the three. And last touch by Azubuki, and it stays with Arizona State. But they beat Xavier. They beat Kansas State. They beat San Diego State. Arizona State's got some good wins. This is Kansas. This is one of the legendary teams in the history of the world. Please. Every single time, John Wooden. An incredible leader, an incredible coach. Who are you leaving oh. hanging there? Somebody wanted a low five from you. He just ignored them. They didn't have high five from me. Well, played. that's why he reached out for the low five. I was busy. After Taking all. a trophy and shaking John Wooden's <laughs> hand as Ramella White gives Arizona State their first lead. Kansas has so many incredible historical ties wherever you look. And the ball movement, the drive along the baseline, Romello White is moving magnificently without the ball. But if you're a young player and you see and think and visualize your future, and to be here yesterday with all the recruits from football on campus in the Hall of Fame just behind us. Whoa, that would be on the roll. And I love how Remy Martin is right up there pressuring Vic on the advance of the ball. Excuse me, Graham. So the first lead of the day for Arizona State. But the, the opportunity, I mean, Kansas is... Cody Justice, the steal. Kansas' advantages are... Trey self Holder finishes. Bill Self says, I need a timeout. 7 nothing run for the Sun Devils. They're up five in Lawrence on number two, Kansas. Arizona State, the new American University, the Valley of the Sun. They're the ones who are on fire. They're the ones who have the pitchforks in hand. Uh, layups, jumpers, threes, free throws. It's all happening for the Sun Devil. 11-2 run for Arizona State. They're 8 of 12 from the floor in the second half. And they lead number two, Kansas, by five. And the great players in the history of the Arizona State Sun Devil program. Joe Caldwell, Lionel Hollins, Fat Lever. Offensive foul, Devontae Graham. Byron Scott, Eddie House, James Harden. They're all standing tall, proud, and grateful today. Well, on the academic side, Arizona State is the new American University. Michael Crow, basketball program, a team of the future. And this crowd just irate. But they are very much aware that the Sun Devils are in control of this game. Cody Justice off his screen. And the rebound falls to LeGerald Vick in Kansas. And their AD Ray Anderson came over at halftime. And he just stole Herm Edwards from us, who's the new football coach at Arizona State. Remy Martin to steal. Martin to the basket, sealing Mikhailo and lays it in. The confidence that he plays with, the poise, the competitive greatness. Remy Martin, just a freshman at the big time level of high school basketball that he played. We're going to have to actually do some more research on the, the prep schools, the Nike Hoop Summit. Speed! And a foul going for the rebound before the putback by Vic. It's on Trey Holder at ASU is here. Trey Holder is critically important. They don't have the depth to replace him. But the quick hands. The anticipation, and then the body position. And the best I ever saw at that type of play right there, two guys, Norm Nixon from Duquesne and John Stockton from Gonzaga. Beautiful play, Remy Martin. Off balance, Devontae Graham missing in the lane. Azabuki knocked out of bounds. Arizona State last touched it. Kansas ball, and Bobby Hurley can't believe it. Well, Bobby Hurley's over there saying, well, somebody please get a rebound one time. But the recruits are going to flock to this guy the same way they do to Coach K right now in that special relationship. And a foul off the ball on Shannon Evans of Arizona State. And speaking of recruits, Kansas next year has a great class coming in. They have the number three recruiting class in the ESPN rankings. As Paul Biancardi, our national recruiting director at ESPN, letting me know that. Highlighted by Quentin Grimes. Plus, there's three transfers sitting out for Kansas. The Charlie Moore. The transferred from Cal and two from Memphis. And then the two brothers. 
Beautiful. Send it back to Quan Lake. You've been to Clinton Lake over here a minute. On the southwest side of town here at in Lawrence. Yeah. Yeah. It's the Lawson brothers that transferred to the Lawson brothers. Shannon Evans deep three. And the rebound to Gerald Vick. And plus, Kansas will add a former Sun Devil when they play Nebraska next Saturday. Sam Cunliffe. And a foul inside. It's almost like they made a trade because Cunliffe goes from Arizona State to Kansas. Cotton Bragg, the former Jayhawk, is sitting out, transferred to Arizona State. Has, has Bragg shown up yet, yet? No, over there? I, I haven't seen him or heard from him, so. When was the, the last guy time I, you were in Tempe? Uh, it's been a while. I need to get back. I need to get out more. The guy I wanted to see was Billy Preston. Now, I knew Billy Preston. The, the piano player. Not this Billy Preston. No, but I've met Billy Preston this one today. And that guy, what a future he has as soon as they get everything cleared away for him to start playing. And we don't know when that is going to happen. Similar to Anthony Melton for USC, who we had on Friday night. What takes him so long to figure all this out? Shannon, Shannon Evans. Evans, the reverse. So the Billy Preston that I knew he was the keyboardist for Little Richard, Ray Charles, the Beatles, Eric Clapton, the Stones. Block shot again. Billy said he passed away 11 years ago. Let it fly, Trey. Lost the handle, picked up by Azubuki in Kansas. And Ty Luke has it knocked away. I tell you, Remy Mark, that guy can play basketball. Jump ball, Jump arrow ball. goes to Arizona State. And the Devils have come out here in the second half, and they lead in Lawrence by nine. Spirit, heart, passion, pride. Emblematic of their coach, Bobby Hurley. Soon to be in the Hall of Fame himself, joining his dad. This is one of the most remarkable moments ever. When it comes to holiday shopping, my wife loves... An 11 nothing run for Arizona State. They lead number two, Kansas. 61-52, and Remy Martin, a spark for the Sun Devils. And the way this game started, who would have ever thought that this is where we would be here deep into the second half? Trey Holder, Remy Martin, Shannon Evans, everybody getting it done from the backcourt for Bobby Hurley. Incredible finishing, anticipation and quickness on defense. This ball belongs to the Sun Devils. And this players has been who can, a game of runs, Bill. It's been back and forth the whole day. Uh, players who can play offense. It, it, it really sort of changed for Arizona State when Remy Martin came in. And when they realized that, look, we're not going to be able to stop Kansas at the basket area, but if we get out in offensive transition, we can finish with the best of them. And with this guy... Blocked by Mitch Lightfoot. Out of bounds. It belongs to Arizona State. And it... Look, the Sun Devils are knocking down shots from long range. They've hit 10 threes in the game. How many, have they, how many have they cold. taken? They've taken 22. So they're 46% on That's their an, threes. That would be an excellent percentage these days in on twos. And when we speak of percentages. There's a discussion here. Jerry Pollard, Chris Rastatter, Keith Kimball, our crew. I think this is in regards to the shot clock because it is reset. But did Kansas ever secure yes. possession? So therefore, maybe they'll lower the shot no, clock. It's an to, Arizona State ball. They had to reset it. The guy had the ball. Lightfoot had the ball. Yeah, but did he ever establish himself in possession? In yes. terms of being in bounds because he came down on the end line. And that's what Bill Self oh, is please. arguing here. Beautiful. Doesn't matter. Trey Holder, a backdoor cut for a lay-in. How many times have we seen this basketball season guys get layups on the baseline out of bounds play inexcusable you have to watch the ball you 13 in a row for arizona state malik newman missing a three trey holder the rebound confidence momentum rhythm every game of bobby hurley's life is a champion player the crowd hated him he was out there as the underdog and he came in and just built a phenomenal life and career for himself and now he's establishing himself as a great coach as well remy martin darts to the basket a career high 14 now for the freshman 15 straight for the sun devils a filipino american bill self wants another timeout it has come apart for kansas and arizona state 
has taken control of this game. They're up 13 here at Fog Allen Fieldhouse. Kansas has lost their momentum, their mojo, their confidence, whatever you want to call it, their rhythm. They have nothing going for them right now. You've got to get that leadership. Graham, Vic, Speed, Udoka. But the ability to the ability, Rossi, to hit those runners, I mean, that is a skill that has got to such a high level in basketball today. When these little guys, and there's a ton of little guys in this team. We've seen, we saw Trey Young the other night. Speaking he of little guys, it. you see this? What's that? This is Little oh, Billy from San Diego. Little Billy from San Diego, oh my gosh. Where'd you get that? Little action figure. Is this one of the artifacts in the Indian <laughs> burial grounds Was it in the here? Hall of Fame here? No, or did no. John Wooden leave this for everybody in 1921? He buried it in the football stadium <laughs> when he was pouring the concrete. No. So Kansas is an Indian name. It's a Sioux Indian name that means people of the south wind. And the south wind has come from Arizona today. It's been absolutely spectacular from the after the five-minute mark of this game, which we thought that Kansas, after that point, would win this game by 45 points. LeGerald Vick finally ends the drought for Kansas. The crowd is going to do everything. The band is going to do their job. Bill Self, the Hall of Famer. Same class as George McGinnis. He'll do his. Romello White, please, finish in the basket area. Best play of the night by Cody Justice. And a good box out by Romello White, sealing Azabuki, and ASU comes away with it. Poked away by Graham, but right to Martin. Martin is everywhere. Remy oh, Martin oh and watch. This is spectacular. Look at his hair. Look at his game. Look at his body. If you walked into the gym today, where would you have picked him? You had never seen basketball being played. Where would you pick him as to who was going to determine the fate of the known world moving forward? But his, his poise, his stature, the way he carries himself, and the touch and the skill and the free throw ability, it's an excellent free throw shooting team, as you would expect from Bobby Hurley. Now they've just got to finish, because that's what's going to be. This is going to be a battle to all the way to the end. Malik Newman has a good look and knocks it down for the Jayhawks. And the problem that a young team or an emerging team like Arizona State faces is that they don't know how hard it's going to be to finish this game because Kansas a legendary program. Shannon Evans bumped by Steve McCulloch. His first foul. Holiday Hoops, it's back. Next Sunday, a great matchup for you right here on ESPN. Roy Williams at number 11, North Carolina. We'll take on number 24, Tennessee, and Rick Barnes in Knoxville. Three Eastern, noon Pacific on ESPN and ESPN. Beautiful. And a foul against Kansas. Foul by number 35. You know well, Bobby Hurley has never been here before either. And he brought his family with him. He, he wanted them to see this. You know, they, they grew up there with the Duke culture and environment, Cameron, his wife oh, Leslie is here. Please everybody go watch that Jeremy Shaft documentary on Bobby Hurley. It's on ESPN 60 right now. Just absolutely spectacular. It'll bring you back to so many different memories and the battles that they had and how they beat Kansas. This is one of the few games. I don't think the fans here understand that, that Bobby Hurley beat their Kansas Jayhawks in the 91 final game. Oh, I think they remember that. Game. No, because they'd be booing him from the outset. <laughs> Arizona Over State, the top. Six of six in the line. The alley oop to a Jared Vick. He has 20. Shades of Grant Hill alley oop from Bobby Hurd. The crowd coming back into it. You had buried the Jayhawks. You had given up on them. I did not. You are already writing their obituary, please. Malik Newman, the rebound. You had three shovels full of dirt. As a picky. Dunka. Too strong, too big. Bobby already said, we've got to stop this now. This is like the 
Missouri and the Kansas Rivers coming together right in downtown Kansas City. About 30 or 40 minutes from where we sit right now, this fan base is just incredible. It is a nine-point game after Kansas was down 14. Kansas' ability to finish at the basket. They throw these passers while the guy is still on the cut. And that sense of, of, of knowing that there's, unless you're a great defender, there is nothing you can do about that because you're not anticipating no that, that cut in the lob from I swear so I far away. Dallas scoring from Kansas, led by LeGerald Fix, who has 20. He had a career high 28. The only positive thing really from that loss to Washington on Wednesday night. And Devontae Graham has been a little bit quiet here in the second half. Well, Graham is the guy who Bill Self wants to be that leader, that not only emotional, spiritual, mental leader, but the statistical leader as well. Because when you're going to be great, you've got to bring it every single game. And who is going to be great down the stretch if Arizona is going to pull off as big an upset as I have ever been a part of in my life? Arizona State. Arizona State. What yes. did I say? You said Arizona. They okay. won last night, by the way. Who did they play? Oh, they played Alabama. They Alabama. Alabama. Tight ball game. DeAndre Ayton was phenomenal last night. And a block, but a foul will send Trey Holder to the line. Trey Holder is an incredible basketball player, and he's going to the line here for two. He's the second all-time leading free-throw shooter in Arizona State history. Second in attempts, second in makes, second in both. Oh, my gosh. You just did the broadcast for chance. Don't blame me, please. I had nothing to do with that free-throw. Well, you get blamed for a lot of things. And most of them justifiably. But Ike Diago, who's still playing basketball in the international professional circuit, he's the leader all time. And the last time Kansas played Arizona State, Ike Diago was playing for ASU. Did you do that game? No, but I was there. 2003 NCAA tournament. I was there. Mikhailu missing a three. Last touch by Kansas. The Gerald Vick. What a game. What a play. What length. What range. Ten-point game. Bill Self and Kansas in trouble at home to unbeaten Arizona State. There's an eternity of time, Roxy. Please. Hey, man. How about that game? What? Oh, the game. Yeah, the game. Duh. Ten-point lead for Arizona State in Lawrence, Kansas at Fog Allen Fieldhouse. Beware of the fog. Well, beware the devils here in Lawrence. The fog has rolled in over the eyesight and vision of these Kansas Jayhawks. A ton of time here, Roxy, but Arizona State is playing so well. Fortunately, Remy Martin still in the game. Beautiful shot. Shannon Evans a step back three. 13 for Evans. I'm not sure if any of these three guards is over six feet tall. Between Cody Trey Justice is 6'5". Everybody no, short I'm season. talking about, I'm talking about uh, Holder, Evans, and Martin. LeGerald gets the answer for the Jayhawks. Cody Justice is playing forward right now. And if he could make a shot, one for eight on the afternoon, they'd be up 20. And Cody's one of my favorite players. It's not his day. And who can deliver on the road? I mean, that, Oh, please. Ramella White lost it out of bounds. Arizona State a turnover. Only seven giveaways for the Sun Devils today. And Arizona State, one of seven remaining unbeaten teams in college basketball, trying to race out to their second 9-0 start in school history. Ramella White, an academic red shirt from a year ago from the Atlanta area. Send it back, Romello, please. Malik Newman for Kansas. Teardroppers in the lane. Now the crowd believes. Bill Self, Bill Self's use of the timeout to, to calm down the momentum of, the, of Remy Martin here. That's a foul right there. Falling away, Martin throws it up, out of bounds, off the Jayhawks, and it stays with Arizona State. Bill Self, who grew up a Celtic fan, as did Bobby Hurley, Larry Bird, Bill Self's favorite player. And why not? 
What better choice? Trey Holder wow. foul and will head to the line. It's on Mikhailu with his second. Tonight on ESPN, Scott Van Pelt hosts the Midnight Eastern Sports Center. We'll have a full day of action in the NFL and who impressed the most in Week 14. Plus the quarterback matchup in L.A. between the top two picks in last year's draft. Carson Wentz, Jared Goff, and the resurgent Raiders getting a hand to them right now in Kansas City just down the road against the Chiefs. Flying in yesterday, the airport was full of Raider fans. Flying in. with SVP on ESPN, the ESPN app. Our senior vice president, Scott Van Pelt, the bad beat man. You know what bad beats are. I'm trying to learn. I like the good beats. Beautiful free throw shooting, Trey Holder. 26 for Holder. Who had a career high 40 in ASU's win earlier in Vegas against Xavier. And in a remarkable comeback as Arizona State was down 15 late in the first half. They scored 73 points in the final 23 minutes of that game. But Kyler knocks down a three. First Steve. points of the day. You're kidding. Kyler. Speed, one of my all time favorites. Kansas has made six in their last eight, and they're within six. He thought about the NBA year ago. Beautiful pass, Cody Justice. A great rotation defensively by Graham. Shannon Evans steps into a three and knocks Whoa. another one down. This game is like an aerobic dance class for the fans. Up and down, it's like going to a Springsteen concert. 12 threes for ASU. Mikhailu again. Back-to-back -back threes for Steve McCulloch. You'd think if you were the Sun Devils, you might guard this guy. He's got one of the most beautiful strokes in all of college basketball. If he gets on the Warriors, he'll have a fine NBA career. You can say that about a lot of people. Kansas is rotating and closeout defense is exquisite. That's a Hall of Fame coach right there. Holder slotted by Azubuki. Justice, a corner three. Pulled down by Newman in Kansas. Transition defense for the Sun Devils. Loose Looking. ball. Remy Martin gets to it. Spread the court. Martin to the basket. Fabulous. <laughs> I want to play with that guy. Remy Martin with 19 off the bench for Bobby Hurley, Sun Devils. Have you ever been to the Philippines? I have not. Have you? No. Travel against Devontae Graham. Remy Martin, got a huge Philippine heritage there. Basketball, the most popular sport in the country, the Philippines. They're having terrible times over there right now. But this guy, Remy Martin, he has done everything today. Jumpers, drives, steals, rebounds. The only thing he hasn't done is block shots. And if he ever blocks your shots, you might want to rethink your career. Shannon Evans, a deep three. Timeout Bill Self, timeout again. How many timeouts does he have? He's been burning a ton He's of them. He's out of them now. And Arizona State is up wow. 11 with 4.04 to go. 13 threes for the Sun Devils. Never count out the Jayhawks. But right now, this has been 83-72, number 16, Arizona State, leading number two, Kansas. And Remy Martin has come up huge for the Sun Devils in the second half. If you want to make history, you've got to win at Kansas. You've got to beat Kansas. And right now, Remy Martin has just put on a spectacular performance of how you play basketball against somebody who's bigger, stronger, maybe quicker, maybe faster, maybe better. But Remy Martin has come out today and said, hey man, I'm the best basketball player in this gym today. Mikhailu steps in. Somebody's got to get a rebound here. Late spending too much time blocking out. Instead of going to the three. Kansas is going to be right up in your face. Spread the court and just blast right by him and turn that press into an advantage for a fast break opportunity. The problem when you pressure Arizona State is, Bill, they have four point guards on the floor right now. Although Vic knocks it away, he gets tied up by Got Justice. Ball. Arrow goes to, goes to Kansas. Jayhawks are out of timeouts. Arizona State has one remaining.
Arizona State cannot relax or get confidence. This game is so far, it's gonna take a half an hour to play this last 323. Bill Self out of timeouts. That's an advantage for Arizona State. But when somebody presses you that far away from the basket, you just got to go right by us, particularly when your game is speed and quickness. Remy Martin, Shannon Evans, Trey Holder, now is your time. And somebody has to get a rebound for the Sun Devils. And a foul on Cody Justice, his second. Svi has come alive here. Holiday Hoops, next Sunday, a great matchup for you on ESPN. Number 11, North Carolina, former Kansas coach Roy Williams. And the Tar Heels take on Rick Barnes at number 24, Tennessee. Tennessee's got it going. Rick Three Barnes. Eastern, noon Pacific on ESPN and the ESPN app. Well, Roy Williams already in the Hall of Fame. Rick Barnes will be in the Hall of Fame himself. That guy is a team builder, a leader. So, so Svi went to the NBA Combine in the offseason to, to learn his lesson. And right when he got there, he hurt his foot. And he couldn't really play, so he just came home and got back to work. And he's improved his body, changed his diet here. And he's just a, a spectacular player whose now body is capable of playing at the Kansas level every single day. And a, wow, a critical miss for the Jayhawks. Keep moving if you're Arizona State. Off balance, Shannon Evans banks it in. 21 for Evans. Former football player, defensive back. What heart, what passion, what pride for this Sun Devil squad. Who would have ever thought? Trey Holder comes away with it, leads to a two on one. Space the floor. And a foul out top on Graham, hits four. Number four, the ability to hit runners four, off the glass. Five. Now, Udoka has not had a He's huge game nine. defensively, but how far away he is outside the lane when he's eight, jumping. One and, one. Trey and that's what these little guys, that's what a great penetrator has to do. Basketball is about horizontal jumping, about taking up space and creating the angles, not jumping high but jumping out, and that's what Shannon Anderson did the previous time. And this is where Trey Holder is gonna show his expertise at the free throw line. Seven of nine at the stripe, 27 for the senior from LA. But think about these young players. And, and to think about the glory road story that we've been talking about, and, and, and the players chasing their dreams, and that opportunity to win this game here today for the Sun Devils. And a foul on yeah. Justice, his third. And Steve Mikhailuk will head to the line for Kansas. I withdraw my previous statement of 90 seconds ago when I said this was going to take a half hour to play. This might take an hour, the way they're calling the fouls right now. One and one for Mikhailuk. But as long as this game just keeps going on, that's fine with me, because this has been a better than perfect situation. Basketball, culture, history, legacy, tradition, exquisite skill. And the band, the band plays on. Did you read that book? Tragically sad. Kyle hits both. He has nine all coming in the last five minutes. Push the ball if you're the Sun Devils. Don't pull it back out. Let it fly, Cody. Splash! Oh, just a three. Finally. Cody, that's only your second basket. Don't look at the crowd. But it was a big one. Yeah. <laughs> Gerald Vick to miss. Rebound last touch by Azaguki. It's an Arizona State ball. Dequan Lake able to get the position. These guys from Kansas, they're bigger, they're stronger, they're more powerful. They got the experience. They played in these big games. They already took down Phil. That was, that was Romello White. Romello White? Really? Dequan's on the bench. Really? Okay. Who's playing? Arizona State <laughs> against Kansas. What's the score? It's on, it's on the screen right there. I'm watching the game, man. What's the score? 89 78 Sun Devils. You're still in awe of your first trip here to Fog Island. I'm in the fall. Very true. Gotta get by him, Trey. Great defense, speed. 
three to shoot. The last road win against a top five team for Arizona State. You got to go back to January of 1998 when the Sun Devils won against Mike Montgomery's number four Stanford Cardinal at Maples Pavilion. Malik Newman is banged up at the other end for the Jayhawks. Let's go to the basket. The general pick the hoop, but Newman still down. He lost his shoe in the process as well over on near the Arizona State bench. 25 for Vic. And 1998, is that what you said? Was it the last time? Yes. What happened in 98? The last time Arizona State won on the road against the top five team. Wow. You know what else happened in 98, which was the 100th year of Kansas basketball? Wilt came back for the first the time in 40 years. And they had an incredible ceremony where they re-retired his number, had a ceremony, and Wilt stayed around afterwards and signed autographs for three hours and 18 minutes. Wilt, there's never been a conversation about the greatest players ever that didn't have Wilt Chamberlain in it. So here's what happened to Malik Newman as he stumbled, lost his footing, and then his head ran into the leg of Vermello White. Looks like it made contact with his knee. So Malik Newman, transfer from Mississippi State, is the injured Kansas player. A minute 40 to go and a nine-point lead for Arizona State. A concern for Malik Newman, who's critical to Kansas, considering they're not a very deep team right now. His, his health is more critical. Very true. Take him to the locker room. Check him out. Here's one more look at what happened to Newman. That's, that's how I broke my nose for the first time. You lost your balance and ran like something like No, I didn't mean, lose my balance. I dove for the ball. And somebody else's knee happened to be in between the ball and my knee. And so Newman help, being helped to the Kansas bench by their athletic trainer. He's going to go to the locker room. He's... And Marcus Garrett checking in for the shaking up Malik Newman. Bill Calgill, long-time trainer, 15 years. And the Bill Self era is what, now 17 years here, 16? 15. 15 years. So Bill got here at the same time. And a foul against Marcus Garrett of Kansas. I don't get that. Arizona State, the double bonus. Trey Holder just ran out of room. How's that a foul on, on Graham? Who's, there was content. Or, Garrett, excuse me. Two shots for Holder, who's 7 of 10 at the line. I was very lucky to run into Curtis Townsend before the game, a longtime assistant coach here. Much younger brother of Ray Townsend. Ninety eighty Arizona State, one more for Holder. 28 points, seven assists okay, so he, he, for the senior. He's got 28 and seven. What does Evans have and what does Remy Martin have? Remy Martin has a career high 19 and Shannon Evans has 21. Okay, that's how you win on the road. Your best player is better than their best player. Somebody guards speed. Missed a three, rebound, right foot. But then taken back by Arizona State and they foul wow. Justice. Ninety-one eighty Arizona State in for Kansas. They're in danger. Their first back-to-back -back losses. Technically, the game against Washington wasn't a home game because that was in Kansas City. It was not a home game. It was at the Sprint Center. Home games are played here. Okay, but the last time they lost two in a row in the general area, in the state 1989. Of Kansas. Cody Justice. No, because Kansas City, where they played, is in Missouri. Wait a second. You, you straighten this out for me. I know I'm confusing. I, I, I never thought that I would see this. The KU fans walking out with a minute 17 to go. Yikes. Graham off on a three, Justice the rebound. Push the ball ahead. Make him foul you. But move the ball, take time off the clock. Holder lost well, the ball. Well, Devontae well, Graham well, ahead to Mikhailu. Pull up three. Knocks it down. Steve McCree. 
<laughs> That's and a they fact. knock over Remy Martin with 55.4 to play. Remy Martin Garrett, the freshman, and the Dallas just levels him. But Kansas, who has won 19 straight games against ranked opponents here in Lawrence. So how many times have they lost here in the history of this building, which opened in 1955? They've, they've lost a few. So Wilt's first varsity game here, 52 points. Still the single player high in the history of Kansas. One more for Mark. Bill Self has more Big 12 titles than he has home losses as the Kansas coach. Say that and one more time. He's got 13 Big 12 titles. More and regular season titles than Big losses. 12 titles than losses in his building. Wow. This guy could go. It's been a disappointing day, but they've been outplayed. It, Three Arizona State players have reached 20 points. If you throw out the first five minutes of this game, this would be a 20-point victory for the Sun Devils. This is foul against Martin. This has got to be as great a victory as the Sun Devils have ever had. At least in a long time. H have you... Steve got number nine. Okay, talk about upsets that you've seen in your life. Or did you think Arizona State was going to win coming in here? Well, I thought they had a chance to win this game. Oh, oh really? Everybody has a chance as long as you walk out here, as long as you wake up. Bobby Hurley, I couldn't be happier for the guy. I remember, from a I remember that first game against Arizona at, at, at the arenas at, uh, at Arizona State when they threw him out of his home court game and, and he was just urging the crowd to come on down and get involved. And, oh, my gosh. And they'll open up Pac-12 play against Arizona right before New York. What a tremendous rivalry. <laughs> and then remember when the team the thought game. they were going to win at Arizona State, said Bobby, and Bobby said, if you want to win in the state of Arizona, you better go to Tucson to get it done. Oh, man, this guy has breathed life into that program. All right, Bill, you've seen Arizona State now. You've seen Arizona. You've seen UCLA. You've seen Oregon. In your eyes, right now, who's the best team in the Pac-12? I haven't seen Oregon. They were in PK-80. You didn't see them in PK-80? They were doing the other turn. We were doing the victory bracket. They were in the victory bracket, Bill. They were just on the other half of it. You never saw them. I did. Okay. I didn't watch them. Arizona has the best players. But what I've seen with the guards here at Arizona State today and the way they play, Arizona, you say they won last night against they Alabama, Alabama, right? Alabama. And, and they got Raleigh Alkins back last night. And, and they gave DeAndre Ayton the ball, right? That's a good idea. He had a huge night. Okay. So, you know, you usually need the ball. You need the, the, the center needs the coach to get him the ball. With senior guards, Holder, Evans, Justice, how critical is that? To well, have success. Their guards are great. The question for Arizona State is going to be what are they going to get from the rest of the guys? What are they going to get from the few front court players they have? Ramello White and Daquan Lake. Hopefully, by the next game, I'll know the difference between the two. <laughs> Mickey Mitchell, Vitaly Scheibel. Kamani Lawrence is coming back. That'll be a huge boost for them. So, Kamani's a big time player for Arizona That's State. Kamani just Here's a fresh. Pac 12 preseason pull, and Arizona State was picked sixth. In the Pac-12. Right. Well, Arizona's got the best talent. USC is up and down. Andy Enfield, tough loss the other night for them. UCLA, a heartbreaking loss at Michigan last night. Oregon, they're in a transition period from last year's Final Four. Stanford, they've got injuries. They're really hurt. Yeah, and then Arizona State. I, I'm a believer. This is a staggering upset today. Graham off of the three, just as the rebound. This is one of the most remarkable upsets that I have ever. And Arizona State will stay unbeaten. They'll come to Lawrence, Kansas, and hand Kansas their second straight loss. In Kansas, Arizona State is undefeated, and Kansas is not. Who would have ever thought? And Trey Holder holds the ball. And the finger raised to the air. Bobby Hurley. Oh, my gosh. Shot clock violation. There's still one second to go. Congratulations, Bobby. A champion in every aspect. Trey Holder, 29 points, 7 assists to lead the Sun Devils. It was
22 for Shannon Evans. Remy Martin off the bench, a career-high 21, as they combined for 72 of the Sun Devils, 95, and they shot the Jayhawks at Fog Allen Fieldhouse. Remy Martin, all have a double. And the first road win for Arizona State against a top five team in almost 20 years as they come to Lawrence and stun Kansas. Remy Martin, he was the helium. He was the one that breathed the air into everybody, gave him the confidence and the belief. What a player, what a performance, what a historic day in this center. Arizona State is 9-0 for the second time in school history as they shock the Kansas Jayhawks. My partner, Bill Walton, our great crew here in Lawrence, Roxy Bernstein saying so long. Number 16, Arizona State knocks off Kansas. More Remy Martin.